don't know what we can do. I remember, actually, I guess we just got to let her grieve and give her time, support her, all that kind of stuff. Detective Falcon there. Yes, um, he's right over there. Yes. Yeah, you know what? I gotta, uh, I gotta go. Okay, love you too. Go ahead. Hey. Hey, can I, uh, help you? Yeah, I'm Tommy Payne with the Landview, Pennsylvania Police Department. Mm -hmm. I'm here to talk about Sonny Corinthos. Payne. Oh, yeah, hey, Payne, you, uh, arrested the grieving grandfather at the courthouse when he threatened to kill Sonny Corinthos. Manning jumped bail in Landview. What'd he do? Murder. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you got him then, because it saves him from committing another one. Forget about it, Manning. We'll get what he deserves. What about Corinthos? Well, I don't know how they do it in Landview, Lieutenant, but here in Port Charles, we uphold the Sixth Amendment, innocent until proven guilty. Yeah, I get it. You know, the thing about that guilty part, juries don't convict unless the prosecution does their job. Uh -huh. That begins with you, officer. Yeah. So what do you say we go over the evidence you have against Corinthos? With all due respect, Lieutenant, how is that any of your business? It was my business when the victims were from my jurisdiction. Well, the accident went down in Port Charles and makes it my case. Oh, good. I came to the right place, didn't I? So you didn't know where I'm coming from. The kid that was killed. Cole Thornhart? He was close to me. It was the time he was like my son. Well, then maybe you can help clear up a discrepancy because Cole Thornhart was supposed to be dead, shot to death in Landview. How did he wind up on a stretch of Highway 115? I don't know. I don't care. It doesn't change the fact that Cole and his daughter were apparent victims. Of a mob had gone wrong. Look, I'm sorry for your loss, but that's all the more reason for you to turn around and go home because your personal feelings are going to cloud this investigation. And Corinthos being your father won't. Uh, reading the papers. Yeah, you know, I was trying to catch a flyer score. I like to be current. Well, you know, reporters don't really dig very deep. Because if they did, they'd find out that uh, Sonny didn't raise me. I just found out Sonny and I were related two years ago. You know, they, uh, they tell me you went undercover in the Corinthos organization. It was very brave of you. But you didn't count on that slug to the chest. Well, I didn't count on that slug to the chest. Hey, tell me something. How does a obviously bright kid like yourself happen to shoot himself trying to pull his own gun? I know, it was a, it was a pretty chaotic night. Yeah, I know, I can imagine. But you were sure enough about it to testify about it in court twice. I thought you were here about a car wreck. Life's a car wreck. I look at everything. Huh. Yeah, you seem pretty fascinated with Sonny Corinthos. You got a history there? I'm not fascinated. But there's a history. Pennsylvania get involved with Sonny Corinthos. I wasn't always a cop from Pennsylvania. I used to be with the Bureau. Mm -hmm. Used to be. The time your daddy was a two-bit hood running money through Atlantic City. You know, that's all great, but I don't see what your previous dealings with Sonny have to do with this case. Well, I'd address that, but I don't think she'd be on this case. Well, it's not up to you, Lieutenant No, Bain. it isn't, but it's a pretty blatant conflict of interest, don't you think, officer? No, I think I, I'm doing pretty good. I found the gun, I arrested Sonny, I made a statement at the arraignment, uh, everything by the book. By the book? Never, never trust the book. How many loopholes did you leave, huh? How much room for Corinthos lawyers to get him acquittal? Making a lot of assumptions, Lieutenant. I hate it when I do that. Here's what I do know. Cole went through hell to make it back to his family. He wanted to raise his daughter, not die with her. Well, here's what I know. I was at the accident site. Hmm? My brother almost died trying to save Cole and his daughter. Good, then maybe I should be talking to your brother. Actually, my brother doesn't have to talk to you. You know, neither do I. So why don't you turn around and go home? Then I'll go back to work. Hmm. Go home. Yeah. No, I think I'm going to stick around. Let me find someone a little more cooperative. You guys don't bail like a park or anything, do you? Yeah. Yeah. To protect Jason. I wanted to make sure that our baby knew its father. Somewhere. My name's John McBain. No, 
that, that, that's not it. No, I'm pretty sure that's my name. I can check my driver's no, license. No, I, I don't know any John McBain, but I'm sure that I know you. There was an incident at the courthouse. And somehow my face ended up in the paper. Maybe you saw that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. It's okay to lie and just to, you know, to spare a life, to save somebody pain. I mean, are those good enough reasons? I'd probably be the wrong guy to ask. Because I lied to my husband about something really important. But I only did it to protect him and her child. Sounds eerily familiar. Your wife lied to you? Yes. Well, no, she wasn't my wife at the time, but yes, she lied. And she used the same reason that she was protecting me and our child. Well, what happened? Tore me out pretty good. When I found out, it was like... It was like a stake through the heart. <laughs> 